forest. We're going to walk along the beach and look for fossils. We are also going to a brook, hopefully find some fossils there. I've brought my geological hammer and chisel. Um, it's very exciting. Um, I always find an abundance of shark teeth there. So you can come along with us and we'll go fossil hunting. Stopped off at some services. Have our little break. There is a milkshake machine that I have just chose. Oh, let's have a look. I'm really excited. Look at, give me it. That, oh my God, it looks amazing. There are some cows <laughs> blocking the road. Still blocking the road. <laughs> uh, we've made it through the cows. <laughs> we have just arrived at Brockenhurst. We are walking down to the riverbed. Um, there may or may not be fossils. I've never really tried at this location, so we're just going to go and have to see. It is extremely waterlogged here today. I mean, this isn't the riverbed. This is the way to the riverbed. I mean, look, that's crazy. It's never normally been this muddy. Look how beautiful the flowing water is. It is um, very overflowed. We're just having a look now. It's gonna be hard to get through the woods. Although I've got only boots on, these bits aren't waterproof. So we're just gonna have to tread carefully, really. It's beautiful though. You're actually not gonna believe what I've just found. I've always wanted to do this. I found one of those jiggly patches of grass where it's like waterlogged. Hold on, I'll pass you the phone so you can see from a different angle. Okay. Look at this, we are literally 15 feet away from the jiggly grass. We have found a puddle full of tadpoles. You can see one right there. See it there? Probably not the most ideal place for them to be in a puddle, but um, this puddle should be here for a while, so they should be okay. I think they are they are frogs tadpoles, they're not toads. You can see one just there. Um, yeah, they should grow pretty quickly and hopefully get out of this puddle. Just finished our trek round the river. Um, no, no fossils, it was too flooded to even go in the river. Um, we're gonna start heading to the beach and scour the beach for fossils and shark teeth. Um, I'm almost like 100% sure we're gonna get shark teeth. Um, but we're gonna head now. Look how beautiful these trees are. They're huge. We have just made it to the beach. Um, I'll turn the camera around once we get an actual view of the beach because We are going to be going for those cliffs over there. Um, I think a bit of the, I think a bit of the cliff has actually fallen down, which is good for me because I want to rummage through it. Here we are at the sea. We're only at the beginning bit, so 
the cliffs are a bit bare so we're going to carry on walking and find some better bits and in these rocky bits we should be able to find nodules and shark teeth and just like that um, looks like we've just found our first first bit of what looks like bone can't assume anything yet until we get an id check but there we go There's some bone, and then there's some more there. Then pause. We are now leaving the beach and going to go get some fish and chips. It's like a ritual going down to the beach. Of course, you've got to get fish and chips. Okay, um, we are home now. I'm just going to show you some of the things we found at the beach. This is just some, um, some of the good ones we found. So let me turn you. So here we go. Here's a really nice little shell. It's it's not too bad. Um, could be a little old. Uh, this has a bit of bone in it. See there. And these are all the fossilised shark teeth. Uh, this one's really, really old. As you can see, it's very worn down and dull. And then we've got really sharp ones here like this. So, yeah, that was our finds. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me to, you know, have people who want to watch my videos. This video is dedicated to my little nephew, Ewan, absolutely loves watching my videos so thank you Ewan bye